Hey guys, it's Mark from parkflyers.com. Today we're looking at a really in-depth look at the Latrax rally car. This is a car that retails for $119.99. It is part of Trax's toy line and it is something that a lot of customers will buy for their kids. Uh, it is not a car that handles like a big one. However, today we're gonna, uh, we had a really good customer. Um, basically his, name, his nickname is Noodles. He's a police officer, we call him Officer Noodles. Uh, very discerning customer, very smart customer, he's a bright guy. He usually works on his own cars. He'll upgrade them and come in and show them off to me and I'll be very impressed. This time he bought this car, he took it home and he drove it and he was uh, underwhelmed by the performance. Uh, since he's very critical and very discerning, he has a lot of cars. He probably has close to 50, 60 cars, if not more. Um, and he, like I said, he's very proficient in working on them and upgrading them. So when he didn't see the performance uh, matching up to the Trax's brand, he basically brought it back to me and said, listen, this car is not going straight. Maybe we could send this back to Traxxas. And uh, I opened up a new car just to see if there was anything weird going on. And the new car drove just like he said, it was tram lining. Every time he gave throttle off the line, the car would be darty either one way or the other. Also under braking, it would kind of go one way or the other. It didn't seem that stable. It would easily spin out when you gave throttle. Now, I never really took a deep look at this car because it's basically a toy. We usually sell these to kids. Um, but, and oh, just to a side note is these, these things drive great on carpet. They don't really need much tuning on carpet because carpet has unlimited grip and that all the weird characteristics that are going on on asphalt are not there in carpet. So I never really paid attention to this car until now. So my job, was basically to fix this car. I told Officer Noodles, listen, just leave the car with me. Give me like a week and I'll make it go straight. So he trusted me, left me the car. And he also said, by the way, if you can make it go straight, just upgrade the crap out of it. Put what you think it needs. And we did. So the first thing and the most important thing we did was that we went with the, the shocks. It's a, a basically the aluminum th um, threaded body shocks. They're great. Uh, the reason why I like the threaded bodies on them is it gives you precision adjustments. You have basically a ring that goes up and down instead of the plastic clips that they have on the armor cars. So you have precision adjustments on these, uh, on these shocks and you need it for this car. Um, if you adjust them wrong, it's not going to drive as good. And you also have to bleed them. You have to bleed them so that there's no binding or buildup in the shocks. They have to articulate fully. When you put these shocks on the car and replace the stock springs, that it comes with, the car is a different animal, completely different. It handles so much better and uh, it is a very, very nice addition to the car. However, it did not fix the issue with uh, the car um, not driving straight. So we actually went and did some more um, tuning. So the next thing that we did on this car was we actually added droop. So on the shocks, they have the bowl cups on the end of the shocks. If you could actually unscrew them, and you could actually make them extend a little bit further. The stock setup, the, the arms do not go down enough. They're actually flat. And you have a car that when you go into the turns, the reason why it spins out is you have, it's not enough droop in the arms. So we gave it two, about two or three millimeters more droop in the front and the back. And all of a sudden under full throttle, now when you go left and right transitions, the car is not spinning out, it's actually handling. And a uh, very big improvement by adding droop to the car. We love it and actually it drives much more sophisticated. So now we have the shocks, we took care of the droop. Next upgrade are the differentials. So the differentials uh, that come with the car are essentially plastic. We took them out, um, we put in uh, metal, uh, sorry, aluminum differentials front and rear. And uh, the design is that they're open, which means that there is no grease from the factory uh, so they're basically open. Anytime you have an open differential, you're going to get erratic performance on any car. It doesn't matter what car it is. Like I said, uh, unless you're driving on carpet. So if you're driving on asphalt, the differentials are going to be working overtime and the car is going to drive erratic. So what we did was we took Kyosho grease. We put 30K in the front and the rear and it really took the car jump a jump in levels. I mean, this thing is now driving super stable, a lot more fun. And uh, this is definitely uh, something that you have to do. You put it in the front and the rear and you have to be generous. You can't just put a little bit, you have to glob it in there, put as much as you can. And because it's Kyosho grease, this thing does not liquefy under heat. It does not go, it does not degrade over time. It lasts quite a long time and the car will be transformed. 
for very, very uh, many runs. So that is something you must do. So the next thing we did was we noticed that the car oversteers a lot because the car is very darty, it's very small. So it oversteers, it makes it's driving like a toy. You want to you want to basically take out some of that steering and you want to dull it a little bit. You want to make it understeer more so it's more sophisticated, doesn't put so much pressure on the chassis. So thank goodness, Traxxas, even on their toy, they give you the ability to extend the wheelbase. Now on the front, if you see, this is the way it comes from the factory. The front arms are pushed forward and you have the ability to move this little plastic tab and put it either in the front or the back. So this is the, the, this is the correct position from the factory, but the rear, you have to change. So the rear, we actually move the tab forward, which pushes the arms back, lengthening the wheelbase. And now you have much, much more sophisticated and much better steering. It doesn't feel like a toy. Um, it's steering, basically you're dialing out all that, all that like uh, oversteer and the car just handles and drives a lot better. The other thing we did is now the, 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 the stock car comes with a 54 tooth spur gear. Traxxas does not make a smaller gear than that. It is their smallest spur gear they make. A lot of people take that and put it in the Teton and the, uh, that little uh, desert racer. Um, but they don't make a smaller uh, spur and they don't make a bigger pinion than will come in this car. So you have a 14 tooth pinion and a 54 spur. So that is all you're going to get on this car. So we actually went to Intergy. We took a, they make a steel gear and it's 52 tooth. It's two teeth down. It basically, basically takes all that um, over torque, too much torque off the line. It just calms it down a little bit, adds a little bit on the top end. It makes the car drive more sophisticated again while having a steel gear. So it's not going to ever strip on you and it's going to last quite a while. Now, the one thing that we realized that was super, super important and one of the most important upgrades, which is really free, is the bell crank. The spring in the bell crank is way too soft. Even on a car this small, it is super soft. And that is the primary cause of all the steering issues and the handling problems. So you want to basically lock that with a little CA. You take the bell crank out. You don't want to get glue on any part of the car. You just want to glue the bell crank. You give a nice amount of glue on that. And basically you have no no give and the front end just basically tines up there's very little play in it and the car drives it complements everything else that we did to the car and the car drives like a million dollars uh, officer noodles is going to be extremely happy with this all the upgrades they basically add up to make a very different car it is no longer a toy this is now a car that drives like a 10 scale on road car um, and it is super super fun now because you now have the handling that is ahead of the motor. Um, what I mean by that is you have the handling now that is now ahead of the motor, meaning it can handle more power. So the car comes with a six volt battery and it's interesting that it does because the, T the Teton uh, and the SST, which is their desert, um, their little desert truck, that they come with uh, 7.2 volt batteries. So throwing that in here uh, it basically makes the car a lot faster, a lot more explosive, and now it could handle that. So if you're going to do this, all these upgrades, I recommend going to a 7.2 uh, volt battery. Traxxas makes them. They're easy. They're, they're very cheap and they're easy to put in. They fit right in where the other battery goes. And uh, it's, I think it's $24.99. Throw it in here and you're going to have basically a little land missile. If you want to go brushless, you can. Um, I've actually thrown a couple of the... Uh, the Spectrum brushless motors in here. The only problem with them is it really then becomes too fast for the chassis and it's not fun anymore. So uh, I don't recommend the brushless motor in this car. Just get a 7.2 volt battery, throw it in the car, uh, get the Intergy 52 tooth pinion and the car is magical. Seriously, when I say magical, it drives incredible. Officer Noodles is gonna be thrilled with this car. He's gonna love it and uh, we really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want us to build you one, we're going to leave a link on the product page where you can basically add the package, the handling package that we did for Mr. Noodles. We can do it for you also. It is definitely a lot of fun. And we think that this is going to be a big hit with a lot of the customers that like micro cars. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please share the video with friends, like, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. And if you need anything from me, if you want to uh, email me, uh, or text me at 732-539-8002. We'd love to put one of these together for you. A lot of fun. Thank you and have a great day.